Well, I gotta tell you, people love it. And you know, listen, Rocky's your baby. We know, I mean, it is. I'd be curious your thoughts on, on the evolution of Rocky and how it was to play him now at, you know, in Creed and what this was like for you. Well, it's very biographical, if you know what I mean, because I'm we're at the same age, and when I think when I saw Burgess Meredith the first time, I said, "Oh, Burgess, wonderful, but he's definitely up there." Here I am, and now I'm the same age as Burgess. Uh, what Rocky has afforded me that I think has been, and maybe never will be done again, is I've actually aged in a character throughout, and 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 it's been the same performer throughout, and. I literally have brought along what has happened to me in my private life, and and I think it's it's showing. It's, it's a di I'm totally different than what I was in Rocky One. Now now he's worldly. He's kind of beaten up a little bit. You know, he's figuring he's all alone. He has lost his love. He's lost this, and and I think about a lot of people that when they face that, when their mate passes on. What are they really going on for? What are they living for? And quite often, if you're lucky, they find some sense of accomplishment in helping others. That's why quite often they do charity work. Anything that takes them out of their doldrum. Well, Rocky wants to see Adrian so badly that he's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. And then this kid presents this this alternative, and you go, you know, maybe this goes against what human nature is all about. You are responsible, I think, as an adult, to leave as much behind that is useful for someone you love. Otherwise, wh what are you doing here? <laughs> What's the point? What is the point? I mean, that's what makes the world a better place, is that you are going to take all of the pain, all the wisdom, all the hard for, for, for knowledge and give it to him and say, look, I'm giving it to you. You may blow it. You may not pay attention, which many people don't, but this is my gift to you, my, my life. Well, this movie is a gift to all of us, and also a gift was Michael B. Jordan. You two have some phenomenal scenes in this film, uh, some of the best acting. I think, and you've done some great acting, but I think this is some of the best acting of your career, oh, seriously. You. Talk about Michael and what it was like being with him. Uh, Michael is kind of like in the situation that I was where when you see me or you saw Michael, you didn't think, okay, a boxer or this and that. There's a certain kind of uh, physicality to him, but behind the toughness, it's a young man. It, it, it's a fellow struggling for answers. In other words, you like him, you embrace him, you trust him. And there's so many men that have played fighters, and they've done it very well, but they're missing what he has. It's, and, and I can't define it, you know what I mean? It's what makes a star. It's what makes you want to, like I see Denzel, if he had played it, you go, I, I'm being pulled into his life. Even though he may have issues, I, I want to be his friend. I want to support him. And he has that in 99% in of people who, who are great actors. But that's a, it's a, and you don't know until it's there. When Carl Weathers walked on, the man who plays his father, and I saw him in an office, and he's going, you know, I could be a much better actor if I was had someone else to act against. I go, it's me. I'm playing the part of Rocky. He goes, oh, sorry. You know, that kind of bombastic. But on film, he never came off as cruel. There was something so genuine. And I wish I hadn't uh, gotten rid of Carl Weathers so early on. And I'm glad. And I think that's one of the reasons they want the fact Creed. Oh, he's back in some incarnation. He's back. Great, because they love that character. We know why you love all of this, and it's obvious. Um, but why do you think millions of fans are so attached to this franchise and to the Rocky films in general? What is it that drives that? Uh, the people that have come to me have used it to become inspired. I think it's just inspiration. It wasn't a master plan. I didn't think along those lines when I wrote it. I was just writing what I thought worked for me. But I can see that everyone that I have a witness going to the statue, they're from Peru, Ecuador, Brazil, Australia. And I keep saying, what, why, why are you here? Like yesterday. And they said, 
Rocky makes us feel strong. Rocky makes, I can do it. Right before I, I, I uh, have a football game, I watch Rocky. You know, so, so, so it touches that chord that I'm scared, but if he can do it, I can do it. That kind of thing. I'm, I'm going to you know, take this best punch. And so I think the word is in, inspiration. Yeah, and determination. And determination. Absolutely. Real quickly, what was the most important thing that Ryan Coogler brought to this as the director? He brought absolute unwavering love and passion and commitment. It was as though he was on a mission that started when he was young to fulfill his father's and his destiny that he feels this film really helped his father get through a dilemma, physical dilemma, and he was going to pay homage to it. So it started many, many, many years ago. But what he brought to it was just absolute, unwavering enthusiasm and commitment like I have never seen. And it shows on the big screen. Yeah. Seriously, Sly, this is fabulous. I love this Thank film. Thank you.